Hello, welcome to another Craft Saturday from Job Car Cabin Museum. My name is Holly and we are really excited about our November craft kit. It's all about puzzles and games. So Pioneer Kids, they didn't have plastics or batteries or screens to be able to play on, but they still knew how to have fun. And a lot of their games and toys were homemade. Um, they were made out of things that kids could find around the house or maybe their mom and dad or grandma and grandpa made toys for them. So let's take a look at a couple of toys that kids might have had back then. We've got marbles. We've got a game called Shut the Box with some dice. And this is a great math game for kids who are learning all about addition and multiplication. And card games, this one is called Cribbage and uses the board to help keep track of your points. We also have games like this peg game. And so this kind of game, you would jump over the pieces, sort of like when you're playing checkers. And as you jump over each piece, you remove it from the board and see if you can get it down. I only have one peg left on the board. This game is a variation of a Native American game and it's played with peach pits or plum pits. And each pit has a blank side and a marked side. And so you start the game by turning all the pieces over. And then you hold the bowl in two hands like this, give it sort of a toss and see how many you can turn over. And your score is how many in the bowl have their pieces turned up, the marked side turned up. So let's take a look at what's in our craft kit this time. Remember that if you're coming to pick up your craft kit on Saturday, you're gonna to need to be wearing your mask and using your social distancing etiquette, staying six feet apart from other visitors, please. So we have two activities in this month's craft kit and everything that you'll need for these is included inside. So you'll get your Job Car Cabin Museum pencil You'll get instructions about the activities. And you'll get some extra bonus game instructions as well. You'll get some markers, uh, some popsicle sticks, and a blank jigsaw puzzle. So your first activity is your jigsaw puzzle. For this one, it's blank, so you can use your markers or any other items that you'd like to color with to create your own design. Maybe you write your name in a fancy way or you draw a beautiful picture and then you can take the puzzle apart and see if you can put it back together and challenge someone else in your family to see if they can put it back together as well. For the popsicle stick game, this is a version of a Native American stick or bone game. So for this game, you're gonna get 12 popsicle sticks and this requires two players. So each person is going to get six sticks. And you are going to take your markers again and decorate one side of each stick and leave the other side blank. Now you can make all your sticks the same design or you can make them all different designs. It's really up to you, whatever you think is cool looking. And then to play the game, we've included a scoring card for you with two different versions of the rules. So you'll need to agree with the other player about which version you want to do. There's an easy version or a harder version. So to do the easy version, you're gonna hold your set of six sticks in your hand and hold it oh, about this far above your playing surface. And then you're just gonna drop your sticks. Ready? One, two, three. And you're gonna count how many are turned face up and how many have their blank side up. And then your points is based on that. So for this round, I have four that have their decorated side up and two that have their blank side up. So I'm gonna look here, two blank side up, four design side up, gives me a total of four points for that round for my first turn. And you're gonna keep going until one of you reaches 20 points. For the harder version of this game, you're going to do something very similar. Hold your sticks all together in your hand, drop them, but this time you only get points if all the sticks 
are design side up or design side down. Any other combination, it's zero points. But this time, you only play until the first person gets six points. So we hope you have some fun trying out some games and puzzles and making some of your own fun toys yourself. Have a great day.